Brickform Blush Tone Acid Stain is a penetrating chemical stain that can transform an ordinary concrete surface into a range of rich natural colors with depth and dimension. It reacts with minerals that exist in newly cured or existing concrete to produce a palette of unique and captivating combinations. Blush Tone Acid Stain is available in 10 standard colors. Because of its dependence on a chemical reaction taking place, Blush Tone Acid Stain is not effective on many surfaces, such as older, weathered concrete or a heavily sandblasted surface. It's very important to do a test for suitability before proceeding. New concrete should be cured for at least 28 days. And any application surface must be completely free of sealers, oils, paint, alkali, or any foreign material that would prevent blush tone acid stain from reacting with the concrete surface. In this application, we'll be staining a surface of brick form microtopping. We've applied a layer of regular grade, followed by a layer of smooth grade. We strongly recommend preparing samples ahead of time using the same surface material and color to predetermine reaction time and final look. That way, there will be no surprises for you or your client when the job is finished. Because we'll be working with a corrosive acid, avoid direct contact with skin and clothes, and protect adjacent areas from overspray and runoff. To begin, You'll need one gallon of brick form blush tone acid stain for each 200 to 300 square feet of surface. A sprayer specifically designed to be used with acidic materials, one without metal parts or tips. And this smaller sprayer and an application brush for tighter areas. We'll use a stiff fiber brush with a long handle during the application and also when we neutralize the acid stain later on. You'll also need a respirator certified and approved to filter out the harmful vapors from the acid, eye protection, chemical resistant gloves, and chemical resistant boots. After the application, the acid stain will be neutralized with baking soda or TSP dissolved in water. The first step we're taking in the application process is to pre-wet the surface with water. It isn't mandatory to do this, but it helps to soften the edges and better control the application of the product. Then, we begin to apply the blush tone acid stain, which has been poured directly into our low pressure sprayer. It's applied evenly and continuously over the entire surface. Following close behind, the second person moves a stiff nylon brush to even out the excess material and break up any puddles that may be forming. Notice he's brushing in a circular motion and that he's keeping the forward edge wet to avoid a hard line when the next pass of acid stain is laid down. If you've already made sample tests, you'll know that the color will be changing dramatically. We refer to the time it takes the chemical reaction to occur and the color to develop as the burn time or reaction time. A typical reaction time would be two to four hours, depending on the surface. We continue the process until the entire area is covered. Then, we allow sufficient burn time for the chemical reaction to give us the color we're looking to achieve. Burn time for this surface was determined when we prepared our samples for the project. The next step is to stop down the chemical reaction of the acid stain by neutralizing the pH on the surface. Mix a box of baking soda or TSP in a pail of clean water. Then apply this neutralizing solution to the surface. To keep the burn time similar for the entire area, follow the same application path. Use the brush to dislodge the residue that has settled on the surface. At the same time, the second applicator is following behind with a shop vac fitted with a squeegee head, removing the excess residue and water from the surface. To prevent contamination, special care must be taken to keep runoff from adjacent areas that are to remain unstained, stain different colors, or areas containing plant life. Now allow the floor to dry. Brickform recommends at least 24 hours before sealing, but in some conditions it may take as long as 48 hours for the surface to dry completely. As you can see, our sample board and finished floor match nicely. We also sealed half to give our client a better idea of what to expect.
Now the floor is ready to seal and wax. And another beautiful brick form concrete surface is ready to be enjoyed.